Hi, you guys. Welcome to my channel. My name is Karen Oddities or Karen's Oddities. If you are new here, welcome. I do want to ask that you like this video, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If you are returning, welcome back. I also want to ask that you like this video, comment, share with someone you know, and subscribe to my channel because clearly you've returned for something. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about the new Barbie movie. I just got back from watching it. Um, I had watched the movie with a friend of mine. It's like, it wasn't a date, but it kind of was a date. I have a friend of mine that um, we have attempted to date romantically in the past. And we learned that that doesn't really work for us. We're better off as friends. So mm -hmm. what we do now is we have like an annual date. And this was our annual date. Um, I did ask him to dress like Ken, which he did not follow through with the request. I did, however, uh, take it upon myself to dress very Barbie-esque for this movie premiere uh, that I was attending. So when I went to the theater, let me start with this, right? Um, there were people wearing pink, a lot of people wearing pink, men and women. Um, and it was clear that they were there for the Barbie movie, right? But I am the only person that went out of my way and decided to literally wear something that Barbie would wear. Okay, so I wore a hot pink spandex fitted guest dress, short dress, like a bodycon. And um, I wore some Katy Perry mesh stiletto booties. Um and I I brought this like neon green shirt as like a cover up in case it got cold. And then I brought like this huge sun hat. Yes, ideally I should have been wearing that outfit for this video. And I did record this video with the outfit on, but I didn't like how the video turned out. So I decided I'm gonna scrap that video and do it all over again. But that was my outfit. Um, so that was the first thing I noticed. I'm like, okay, people dressed up, but they didn't dress up like Barbie or Ken, they just wore pink. And I'm like, maybe I missed the memo or maybe everyone else missed the memo and doesn't understand what it means to attend a Barbie movie and dress for the occasion. But again, not everyone is that fashion forward thinking um, or interested or cares as much, but I guess I just care too much about fashion and making a statement. So I have always loved playing with Barbies when I was younger. I loved, loved, loved it. I would play for hours and hours with my cousins. I would collect Barbies. I mean, when we were younger, I mean, I didn't have an American, what is it, an American doll or American in me? I didn't have one of those, right? And even then, those are like awkward. Like, I mean, they're beautiful dolls. You can get them custom made. They have different professions similar to Barbie, but they don't move like a Barbie does. You can't bend the knees, you can't move the arms, you can't sit them, you can sit them down, but just point is they're just awkward shaped in my opinion. So I feel like Barbies were, I mean, human type dolls. And I get that they have unrealistic dimensions and don't look like an average human, but Barbies were the closest thing to humans when I was young. Yes, you can have a baby doll, but that is literally like, a life-size baby, which is not fun to play with because a baby can't do adult things, but a Barbie doll can. So I would love playing with Barbie dolls and just pretending that I was living whatever life I thought I wanted to be living at that time. And when I, whenever I was playing, right, I would play for hours and hours and hours. And it would just like really ignite my imagination when I was younger. Loved playing with Barbies. So because of that, it was really important to me to attend this movie. I was almost going to attend the movie by myself. My friend wasn't going to follow through, but I was not going to dress in something that Barbie would wear uh, if I was going to attend by myself, because obviously that would be kind of sad and a little bit weird for me. If you do it, that's more power to you. I just couldn't do it because I would just feel, I don't know, I feel old. I feel sad and I'm old or um, so yes, that's what it, the scene was like when we got there. Um, I won't spoil the movie, by the way, because that's not something that I do. But um, I will just talk about it in a general sense, what I enjoyed, if there was anything I didn't enjoy. And then from there, I, I look forward to hearing your comments if you if and when you decide to watch it. I do want to start by saying, when I saw the preview for the movie, and when I had just seen like 
bits and pieces in the preview in my mind I'm like this movie is going to be whack as fuck uh it's probably going to be a waste of my time it's probably going to be cringy as fuck and I'm going to be annoyed but I'm going to watch it because I'm such a huge Barbie fan and it's so nostalgic for me that was not the case I was pleasantly surprised that it was not as cringy that there was a good plot there was a good storyline there was just it was good plot writing like it was a great story um and it was executed in a really artistic and beautiful way. And it wasn't just dolls trying to conform into human life or just seeing the life of a doll. No, it was so much more than that. Um, so I want to say if you're on the fence about watching the movie, I highly recommend that you give it a shot. I think that you'll either love it or you'll hate it. Um, I don't think there'll be anything in between. Um, it was a really good movie and I was pleasantly surprised and I was glad that I decided to watch it, although I knew I was going to watch it regardless, right? But um, it's, I enjoy movies that make me think, right? Either if it's a scary movie, then I want to be scared. If it's a suspense movie or mystery, um, documentary, history, whatever. I want something that's going to make me think, something that's going to make me reflect, reflect about what I've seen, reflect about my life, reflect about who I am, my life choices. This Barbie movie did that for me. And maybe it'll do it for you, maybe it won't, but it did that for me. So it got the job done for me and it was entertaining. Uh, the humor in it was tasteful. It wasn't too much. It wasn't cringy. It wasn't over the top. The length of the movie was perfect. I didn't think like it was too long. At no point was I thinking, okay, when are we going to get to the end of this? I think that every moment of the movie was really well selected and put into the movie where it made everything flow well and I didn't get tired. I didn't feel like I had to check the time or anything like that or I wasn't getting sleepy. Um, although we did go watch the movie really late and I feel like if I did get any sense of like tiredness, it was because it was so late and it's past my bedtime and it's past my bedtime right now when I'm doing this video, but I just wanted to get it out um, because I mean, it's, it's Barbie season right now. So um, yeah, humor was good, was not too cringy, was not annoying. Um, and it made me reflect, right? Like on the way home, like it just made me think about just how short life is, right? It made me, um, it kind of like ignited a fire in me where I'm like, I clearly need to focus more on some of the things that I want to do and stop letting those things just sit there because life is so short, right? We have to do what we want to do when we want to do it and not wait. Um, that's what the part of what the movie had me reflect on the most on my way home um was there anything else about it I really enjoyed the fact that this movie not just um was really well written and really captured it was just a great story right it captured a great story um it was informative but I really enjoyed that it, it had some history on Mattel and the maker of Barbie, which was helpful and just good to know, right? It makes me want to research a little bit more about the company and the maker and just get a better understanding, which I've done that in the past, right? Because Barbie, I mean, Barbie has been around for so long and they've put out some controversial products. I know they've changed their branding over the years. I know now like they're most, they're the most progressive that they've ever been, right? So I'm always curious about who's behind the marketing of this, um, whose idea was this, what, it, I don't know, some things like it's, it's controversial, right? You're creating children's toys. And in that there's um, a risk, but it could be very rewarding if it's done properly. So I'm always curious to just see what, what the new happenings are with them. Um, I know that the movie has been like a hit and it's been like sold out. I know the theater closest to my house. We were going to go there because we both live near there, but that one was sold out. So we had to go to a theater a little bit further out. Um, but I don't think it's in vain. I think that it's a good movie. Um, and I think that unfortunately the hype around it and like people dressing like Barbie or dressing in pink is probably going, it, it's probably, this sounds really silly and probably doesn't make sense, but I think that it's, going to discourage some people from attending because I think that a lot of people just think it is a movie about a Barbie doll and a Barbie fake reality world but it's actually a really good well executed film um 
I like the artistic aspects to it and um, I just think it was done really nicely. So I highly recommend that you guys watch the movie and even if you're on the fence, watch it. I mean, what is there to lose, right? <laughs> you can, you have experienced it. You can talk about it with others that have watched it and maybe it'll do something for you, right? Maybe it'll ignite or spark some type of thought or idea in your mind or um, it'll be nostalgic for you as it was for me. And that's that. I think that's all I have on the movie without giving away too much. Um, yeah, I think, I think I'll leave it there. I'll just say, uh, the music was really good. I do want to look at their, um, playlist, the playlist from the movie. What's the matter, baby? The fashion as well. I really enjoyed the fashion in it. Um, so I want to look into those things too, but it was a great movie and I'm going to get these boys ready to go to bed because I'm so sleepy and clearly they are like, why are you still awake right now? So I hope you guys have a wonderful day, afternoon or evening, wherever you're watching from. And I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you.